So I want to drop a word of encouragement on you, something that the Lord touched my heart about, and I'm excited to share this today because I'm telling you, the Lord is about to move on your behalf. So in Zechariah 4, 6, God, through the angel, speaks to the prophet Zechariah as they are in a time when Zechariah and the people of God had come out of Babylon and they're rebuilding the city of Jerusalem. It is a monumental task, to say the least, because Jerusalem has been trodden down underfoot and under the army of uh, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon 70 years before Israel has been captured and taken to Babylon. So they're coming back from captivity. They've got to rebuild some things. There, There is a new season that they're in, and God has authorized them to rebuild. So it's a time of recovery. This is the point that I want to start off with today. They've entered in a time of recovery and rebuilding, but the task is huge. It's monumental. And here's what Zechariah, just in his humanity, says. He says when he sees this vision of the candlesticks and the lampstands and the anointing, God shows him this. He says, what does this mean? And the angel says to him, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord God of armies. So that's what I want to drop on you today because the Lord has been impressing that verse strongly in my spirit for two days now. Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. And when the Lord, uh, frankly, I haven't read this in a long time, and the Lord just brought that back to my remembrance. And here's what he's saying to us. What he's saying is the obstacles, the mountains, and the walls that have been in your way, those stubborn hindrances that have kept you back and things seem intimidating, obstacles seem overwhelming. The Lord says he's sending a wind of his spirit to move what has seemed impenetrable, what has seemed impossible. You're going to take your mountain. You're going to fulfill what it is that you've been working toiling even with great stress and frustration and not making any progress. The word of the Lord is not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. You've thrown every resource at it and you've done well to work hard, but now I'm stepping in and watch what I do. So I want to give you a model for this real quick. Back a month or two ago, we were teaching in Exodus 14 when God had them strategically positioned between Pharaoh's army and the Red Sea. And all of a sudden, God tells Moses, he says, now I want you to stretch your rod toward the east out over the sea. And as you do, I'm going to send a strong east wind to move the waters out of the way. Let me say this to you. That wind is a type. It's a model. It represents the wind or the move of the Holy Spirit. There is a shift. I need you to hear me. There's a shift in the pattern, the prophetic patterns of the heavens that have been governing your life and the times and seasons you're in. And there is a favorable wind, a moving, working wind of the Spirit of God himself that not by might, your effort, not by power, your energy, your intellect, your skills, your gifts, every resource you've got, you've been throwing at that problem, that wall, that mountain, that obstacle. God said, you couldn't move it, but I'm going to, and it's going to happen by my spirit. Here's what the Lord's about to do for you. He's going to bring you into a brand new experience of what it means when his spirit starts to move. So that east wind, that strong east wind that came all night and moved the waters out of the way and made a way where there seemed not to be one. The Spirit of God is building a bridge to your future to move you through what seems impenetrable and impossible. So I'm telling you today, not by might nor by power, but by God's Spirit, it's going to get accomplished. There is an anointing that's going to begin moving on your behalf. God hasn't forgotten where you are. He hasn't forgotten what you've been uh, trying to accomplish. He hasn't forgotten his covenant with you. And watch the Spirit of God himself begin moving on your behalf. You can trust the anointing, and the anointing is getting ready to move.